What's up guys welcome back to a new Shopify tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to learn how to add a countdown timer on your store. As you can see I'm on the back end of my Shopify store and let's first check how our store looks. It's still in development so not many things are added and it is just for the reference and for the example of this video and if you'd like to know how to add this announcement bar on your Shopify store you can click the small i button on top to find it out we have already created a video on that so going back to our topic for this video we are going to add a countdown timer here so in order to do that the first thing you need to do is go on apps go on shop for apps search for the app countdown timer and you will see first step which is from Hextrum. Hextrum is really awesome company to create some really good plugins for Shopify. I recommend to check out their other plugins if you'd like to add some really cool and awesome features to your store. Uh, so let's add this app first to our Shopify store. Add app. Install it. Perfect. So the app has been installed on our store. Now the next thing is we'll create the countdown timer bar. So let's create a new bar. Select the template. We are just going to select a really basic template but if you would like to change the look even more you can select any premium template let's select bold and clear here you can see a preview of your countdown timer this is how your countdown timer will look for me it looks a bit dark so let's just make a bit more lighter yeah that looks better let's give it a name first countdown bar you can give any message you want here it says our anniversary sale will end in we can just write find out best offers for today and in then the timer let's not keep any message after the timer and if you'd like to add a clickable button of course we'll would be adding a link so let's add a button to the bar let's create a button with today's deals then link the button to any URL of the page where all your offers will be shown as in this case but if you'd like to link any other thing or any specific product you can link that too. You can select any position of the bar like on the top, on the top but also stays there while scrolling or there are many other different alternate positions. You can create start and end time. Here we'll give a time frame so the bar will only be shown during this time period. Now we'll select the type of timer. The last three options are really great premium features and we need to opt for the premium plan in order to use it. Let's select start and end time. We are just going to show it for today. So the start date will be from uh, July 5th and the end date will be until July 5th. Let's change the timing 11 59 p.m. Let's apply it scroll all the way down and you can change the style of the bar like color button text or button color and many different things scroll even more and you can make changes to the fonts if you'd like to change font size if you'd like to add padding to your bar and there are many other different things but for now we don't need it as we are just testing it on our development store then there are some targeting settings where if you'd like to show bar on any page or if you'd only like to show bar on the home page or on a specific URL then if you'd like to exclude this bar from any specific page then you can do that also now let's scroll all the way down and save this bar so once the bar is saved now let's check how it looks guys now you can see a countdown timer on our store and also if you have an announcement bar as we discussed in the earlier stage of this video make sure to turn that off so that this kind of small line doesn't show on your store Right now what's happening is we have an announcement bar which is in black and we have a new timer which is in blue. So the blue bar is on the position of the black bar but the black bar is still showing on the store since we haven't turned that off. So that's all for this video guys. I hope you have found this video helpful. If yes, do give a thumbs up and subscribe for more updates. Bye bye. Take care.